going on traders it's your boy l back for another uh, analysis checking out a uh, thing sunday night september 14th so doing my analysis uh on the trends on the higher time frames it's looking like uh some of the strongest pairs moving into this week at least for the first two days is uh the strongest pairs to trade is the dollar the cat want to pair that up with some of the weakest pairs such as the yen, the New Zealand, and the uh, pound dollar, excuse me, the pound, uh, which is also uh, derived from some of the, the analysis, the trend analysis as well, on the higher time frames. So just uh, translate that into what the pairs that we're going to be looking at. Um, for short trades, we're going to be looking at uh, USD yen, the pound dollar, New Zealand dollar, and uh, pound CAD, being that uh, the dollar, is uh, a strong pair. Actually, I got to change this around. There's actually an error. Um, I just noticed it. We actually want to be going long on the uh, US yen, so I'm going to swap that around uh, in the details. But uh, just definitely want you to take note of that. So we're going to be going short correction on a pound dollar, New Zealand dollar, and pound CAD. We want to go long on a USD yen and the uh, CAD yen being that the uh, yen is uh, our top weakest pair moving into next week. Um, also from the analysis, we got a third strongest pair actually, which is surprising to be the euro. But uh, based on sentiment, you know, they recently cut rates again. And uh, we've seen with the first, well not the first, but we've seen with the most recent rate cut has done for the trend. Uh, pushing it down for at least a couple months. Um, I can't really recall when the last cut was, but uh, if you look at your chart, you can definitely see a massive downtrend in the euro, and they recently cut rates again. So I'm definitely expecting the euro to continue to the downside, uh, you know, as they're experiencing this recession. So even though technical, technically, uh, the euro is, is strong, uh, sentimentally, I, I really expect for prices to continue to the downside. So I'm not going to really be uh, going long on the euro, and we just want to eliminate that. Um, we got about uh, five pairs here, which is uh, more than generous enough to trade and look for opportunities on moving into this uh, following week. In addition, uh, looking at some more sentiment, checking out our Bloomberg, uh, just some, some big things that uh, stand out is uh, checking out the Aussie. Uh, some news came out on Australian. Australia, that's, that's really not a helping it, you know, so um, they're definitely losing some strength on the Aussie, um, but that's not really affecting us, not, that's not in any of the pairs that we're looking at, so we can overlook that, but in addition, uh, we're seeing that there's some sentiment on the dollar, the dollar rallying, and uh, there's just some uh, pretty much sentiment or ideas and thinking that uh, uh, interest rate rise is uh, closer than we think, so of course that uh, strengthens the currency, and uh, as you know, September is like uh, we're back to, to the push. And uh, I always love September trading. So with that being said, uh, we want to focus on these pairs. That, that uh, gives us further confidence to uh, look for uh, longs on the uh, USD yen, um, shorts on the pound dollar, New Zealand dollar, and uh, pound CAD. So um, I don't want to just show you this, we actually want to take it to the chart, so let's, let's take it to the chart to see what's going on. I'm actually uh, still in the short from uh, last week. I had a break of uh, low, and I got in there. Looking to add some more as price confirms in my direction, but uh, I did get, ex I am experiencing a pullback, uh, but I do, uh, as you see, uh, have a sentiment to the low side, so I definitely, uh, see this continuing to the downside, whether well, it's going to close this gap and continue. Um, I definitely, uh, you know, who, who knows, but uh, I'm definitely looking for some, uh, a turn in this zone, in this blue area, for further movement to the downside uh, as we move into this week. Looking at the yen, yen has been a strong uptrend since, uh, you know, since breaking out this range here. It's been a strong trend. Definitely expecting a pullback soon. Um, you know, 
most people use Fibonacci to kind of uh, determine these pullbacks, but we, we haven't gotten any lower lows yet. So it's tough to confirm if this is the top or if we're going to see some more action to the upside. We actually have a zone up there that we're looking for the bounce off, which is right here. see that's that's pretty much a ways away 290 pips which is definitely doable but uh, we, we got a pretty strong movement but we did have some range for a while so you know we'll see what happens but uh until we get some lower lows I like to uh, take it down a time frame or two to look for bounces or for support to the upside until we start to get that confirmation that we want to make lower lows. And as you see, price is ranging now. So we can, we can, it's possible for us to start to see a retracement to the downside with uh, some confirmation of lower lows. But we want to see how price interacts at these levels um, as news come out. And uh, that's the end. If you want to take a look at the New Zealand dollar, nice strong downtrend on the New Zealand dollar as well. Still looking like we're looking for, you know, looking strong. Let's see if we can uh, got some lows down here that we're looking. Like, uh, this would be a good zone. Also, this would be a good zone. So this whole area down here, good, a good place to be uh, taking some profit, locking in some, some profit if uh, if you're short this pair. targets going so um, you know looking looking on the short these are these are some good zones and uh, as you know it's pretty strong right now so I'm going to drop it down the time frame and see if we could get some, uh, some get in on some test uh, highs some pullbacks so um, these are a few few zones that I'm looking at in particular right here right here at, uh, 8193 you know, once we get a pullback to those zones, I want to see how price action in the racks to see if I'm going to get involved or not. So, but uh, overall, on the overall time frame, oh, on a bigger scale, excuse me, we're definitely looking for some continued movement to the downside. Um, same thing for pound cat. You know, it's coming into this zone right here on a higher time frame. You know, previous uh, support few times so in this area maybe with a stop with a stop run of uh, this area right here you can see some uh, further action to the downside so either we can see some rever a reverse here which is a nice uh, reversal candle there so you can see probably some uh, ranging and uh, Further action to the downside, or or it could pull back up here for for reversing. But um, my bias is definitely to the short side with a extreme strength on a uh, cat right now. Same thing, uh, strength on the cat here. It's been in a nice nice uptrend. So we want to see. Uh, I'm you know I'm, I'm really looking for a test of these uh, lows down here, and uh, just to see how structure uh, plays out. If we get some higher highs. Definitely looking to uh, continue this uh, to the upside. So um, that's what we're looking for this week. Um, the euro showed strength. I just want to talk about this one. The euro showed strength, but uh, on a higher time frame here, the euro cat H4. You see, you know, being at a they cut rates. I'm, I'm expecting some uh, movement to the downside. As you know, a cat is one of my strong pairs so far and um, I'm expecting some you know as we come back and test these lows I'm expecting some movement to the downside you know um, based on the candle action and uh, price action we can get a nice risk reward to this as you can see we got some Fibonacci levels uh, right in this zone the 23 of uh, a bigger Fibonacci if 
from the top is coming down to the, the 23 percent Fibonacci level and uh, from this uh, most recent after this uh, high high right there from this most recent drop that's about the 50 so this is a high probability zone for us to catch a nice trade this could definitely uh, definitely uh, look to give us some uh, good price action if price action does this is this is actually you know like I mentioned this is just a, a side pit it's not really in a uh, primary pairs that I'm looking for, but with the sentiment on it, I think it could uh, turn out to be something special, possibly. So, definitely want to keep an eye on it and uh, see what happens in the week moving forward. So, um, at least for the next couple days, based on uh, Forex Factory uh, information here, I want to... Uh, As we go, I want to definitely, you know, moving into Monday, I want to definitely be looking for a position around 8.30 on the dollar pairs, the Zealand dollar, uh, pound dollar, you know, to see if anything's setting up off a, off a support or resistance level. Uh, most likely it's a uh, resistance level as we uh, test these highs. And um, moving into uh, Tuesday, we got some news on the yen, which can... Uh, push a, a dollar yen position up if this news is weak uh looking at the news uh for tomorrow on the dollar there's been some dollar strength uh you know that's why dollar is one of our stronger pairs but uh, you can see the forecast as well as uh in our favor for uh some strong news coming out on the dollar so you know um pre-news I, I you know you just got to be careful with this but pre-news you may start to see some selling off on the on the or some buying of the dollar, you know, being it, that it's forecasted. So definitely uh, check for some early tests of uh, resistance and support levels um, prior to the news. But, uh, you know, a more high probability entry would be probably after the news when you actually see the actual numbers. You know, and uh, if we could get a good risk to reward, that's, that's really where we want to be. So at least for Monday and Tuesday, you know, I'm looking for some action. These are the pairs kind of just break down my filter uh, kind of just break down my filter based on the pairs that I'm focused on from our uh, from our analysis here and um, that's how we're gonna go so you know as, as I mentioned I'm still in a, a short on a pound dollar still expecting a uh, price to come on down Doing, also doing some research to, to refine my entries. I'm really liking this push-up entry uh, that I've been taking lately. Uh, you know, in this, in this scenario, I got a pullback, but uh, over the weekend, I've been doing some thinking and uh, starting to figure out some uh, trade management that'll really help that. So, um, that's, that's where I'm at with it. And um, hopefully this video is helpful for you guys. And uh, as you know, if you got any questions, feel free to message me. It's your boy, Capitol Wish you a happy and a successful trading week. Happy trading.